For the third part of item 1, or 1C, you ask the patient to perform two tasks. Before beginning this assessment, be sure to position the eyes and hands in a testable position, then ask the patient to do these actions. Close your eyes for me. Now open. Now make a fist with your hand. You may repeat the command once, but do not coach or encourage. To improve reproducibility, score what the patient does, not what you think they are capable of doing. In general, you should try to pantomime the command so the patient receives your verbal as well as visual input. Close your eyes and open them up. That's terrific. Take your left hand and make a fist. And now open it up. That's great. For scale item 1C, this patient scored a zero. Let's look at how this scale item is scored. Score a zero if both tasks are performed correctly. Score a one if one task is performed correctly. If the patient does not speak English, a friend or family member can be asked to translate. Now ask her to close her eyes. Cierra tus ojos. Ábrelos. Ask her to take this hand and make a fist. This hand? This hand. Make a fist. Aprieta tu mano así. Haz tu mano así. Make a fist. Score a two if neither task is performed correctly. Now I want you to take your hand and I want you to make a fist. I want you to make a fist. I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. A two is scored for patients with a comprehension deficit and who perform incorrectly. Some subtleties here. Give credit if a real attempt is made but not completed simply due to weakness. Only score the first attempt. Again, do not coach or teach. By the time this scale item is tested, you will have already interacted sufficiently with the patient to judge whether or not the patient will actually comprehend your verbal commands. If you're dealing with patients with trauma, amputation, or other physical impediments, you'll need to substitute other one-step commands.